Through the last couple of years of pandemics and lockdowns, I've rekindled my interest in 3D printing. I bought myself a Creality Ender 3, and then another, and I've spent countless hours tinkering with them. They're really only tools for the very tech savvy and patient. But I've invested a lot of time over the last 18 months also in improving my 3D design skills. Many years ago, I did some 3D design work in AutoCAD. Much later, I started using Microsoft's 3D Builder app on Windows 8. And then I picked up Autodesk's online Tinkercad and then Fusion 360. Now those are all pretty awesome applications. But I found Fusion 360 in particular really challenging. The interface was just not what I was used to, but once I'd mastered it, my 3D design skills had progressed a long way. Like a lot of apps these days, Fusion is a multi-platform app and the user interface is just utterly confusing for Windows users. There are just so many things that don't work like you'd expect that they should. It loads as fast as a snail, it looks weird, and it's impossible to use with touch and pen. It's very much a desk-based proposition, which is a real shame because inspiration can strike anywhere. And it would be great to have an app that would allow me to design and tinker without a desktop PC and a desk away from the office. That's where Shaper 3D caught my interest. It's a 3D modeling app based on the Siemens Parasolid modeling kernel. It's been designed specifically with touch and pen in mind, and I've been watching it develop on the iPad over the years. In fact, the app has got a lot of attention from Apple, and it even won an Apple Design Award in 2020. But in a very smart move, Shaper 3D has now been released on Windows. It's pretty early days and the software's still in beta but we'll leave a link below to where you can go and download a copy via the Microsoft Store. The app works with keyboard, mouse, touch, and pen, so it's really great for folks out there like me with a Surface or a two-in-one device with a pen. I've been running it for a while now on the Surface Pro X, the Pro 7, and the Studio, and I'm so excited about it. And although it doesn't have the depth of Fusion 360, I haven't opened Fusion since I got hold of Shaper 3D. It is very powerful, and yet it's also very easy to work with. Designing with a pen is absolutely brilliant. It's tactile and direct, and it allows you to do your work on the couch, outside, at a friend's house, or out on site. But it's also powerful when you're at the desk with a mouse and keyboard. The concept of modeling with Shaper 3D will be familiar if you've used other 3D design tools. You sketch a shape, you extrude it, and you start modifying the body. You can chamfer and fill it, Combine and subtract shapes, create construction lines and planes, and each sketch, body, and plane is accessible in a list, so it can be selected and turned on and off like layers. 3D modeling is not easy or intuitive. I hate the popular use of that term, by the way. What it's come to mean these days is I didn't have to learn it, but that's never true at all. It should be substituted with, it's really easy to learn, I've experienced something similar. My point is that saying that apps are intuitive diminishes the investment that you have to make in learning something, whether you're investing those hours now or you did it many years in the past. But 3D design is a complex task that you need to learn, like riding a bike and most other worthwhile endeavors. Once you learn the concepts behind it, you can quickly adapt to almost any 3D design tool. So moving from Fusion 360 to Shaper 3D is pretty easy. And if you're interested in 3D design and just starting out, then this is the tool to start with because the interface is so simple and easy to learn that you won't get bogged down with it. With Shaper 3D, when I come across a problem that a 3D print could solve, I've been able to go from idea to 3D print much faster than I could with previous tools. And while it's in beta and I have seen a crash here or there, I've never lost any data and it's an absolute pleasure to work with. Just like the Concepts vector-based drawing app that we spoke about in a previous video, Shaper 3D have created a model where your subscription unlocks the app on all platforms. So you could use Shaper 3D on your desktop PC, Surface, iPad, or Mac using the same subscription. And moving between devices is as simple as logging in. And it works on both Intel and ARM-based Windows devices. So use the link below and take a look at it. And if you do end up buying a subscription, buy it on your Windows device rather than Apple so that that 30% goes back to the developers for creating a great piece of software. Are you into 3D design or printing? Tell us in the comments, and if you're interested in products that work great on Surface and other Windows 2-in-1 devices, then make sure that you hit subscribe and hit that bell to get notified about our weekly videos.